Investigate, but not too deeply. That's the message inside documents from senior officials with the Bush administration to the 9-11 Commission as they searched for answers after the attacks. Russ Baker is the author of Family of Secrets. He joins me now from our studio in New York. Mr. Baker, let's get to the specifics of this letter. It's dated January 6, 2004, and essentially it shows that full and complete disclosure was not, in fact, what senior Bush administration officials wanted. Can you elaborate on this? Well, they clearly didn't want full and complete disclosure on 9-11. We've seen that over and over again. The most recent, uh, this particular document, basically what happened was uh, a, a document was sent to the 9-11 Commission co-chairman and only to them, and it said, uh, don't ask to see the uh, detainees. Uh, don't ask to talk to them. If you do, you will be crossing the line, that's the quote, uh, uh, between a uh, legitimate right to know and America's need to defend itself. From what I understand, this document was recently obtained by the ACLU. Um, and in it, the officials denied the Bipartisan Commission's request to question de ter terrorist detainees, as you were talking about, uh, basically saying that doing so would cross a line. Um, I want to I want to understand what they were saying. The reasoning for this was. Well, they didn't give any reasoning. Uh, they they left it at that and. Of course, the speculation is what could that have been about? Uh, the 9-11 Commission was charged with trying to get to the bottom of the larger affair, what had happened in the first place, uh, and what had the U.S. response been, had it been correct, and so forth. Of course, there are so many questions. Uh, a large share of the public feels that they haven't gotten the whole story, and this only confirms that. Here you have them saying, uh, don't talk to uh, people who may have had some sort of knowledge about the operation itself, and of course, the Commission had every right to want to talk to these people there is speculation that the real reason they didn't want them to talk to it was that talk to them was that at that point they were unaware uh, that the interrogators were using uh, basically what, what what was tantamount to torture and that this had not come out so I'm curious I mean in your research what has um, tell me some of the, the more specific things that you found uh, I mean, what, what we're seeing is that the 9-11 the Commission, which already understood that it couldn't probe too deeply into many of these matters, itself was extremely frustrated. Uh, now we're finding, of course, that they told them, don't talk to the, uh, the de detainees. But they also had this policy where when they went and spoke to even, let's say, officials of the Central Intelligence Agency or the FBI or, or what have you, the, the agencies required them to have minders. This is a, another person sitting there basically sort of intimidating the person who was being asked, and I can tell you from my experience over the years uh, covering situations in authoritarian and totalitarian countries, that's what you expect there. You certainly don't expect that kind of attitude in the United States. I thought it was pretty interesting also in your findings. I mean, the way that the government officials painted it, not having high government officials present during some of the questioning would, quote, impede the investigation. Um, you said the 9-11 Commission was frustrated, but how did they react to this? Uh, they basically didn't have much choice. I mean, they went along with it, but they complained. I mean, the key thing here is they're, they're now increasingly admitting that their hands were tied, that they, they felt that they were uh, stymied and, and manipulated and basically lied to uh, uh, across the board. They have to speak in a, a more delicate manner than I am, but the reality is that very clearly uh, they didn't want, the government did not want them to tell the full story of what happened. And even on, in this situation, uh, with, with the matter relating to torture, I think there are deeper questions. For example, uh, uh, not only uh, was the issue of them hiding the fact that they were torturing and violating international protocols to which the United States was a party, but there was a whole question of the effectiveness of the torture itself. We increasingly hear from uh, people in the intelligence services who say that the, the, the torture is not effective. It tends to produce more false information than correct information. So it, this indicates a level of incompetence, uh, uh, not only a level Level of deceit. I'm curious what you think. I mean, the 9-11 Commission, they're a bipartisan commission. Obviously, their job was to find out everything, or the job that we were told they had was to find out everything possible about 9-11. Do you see, perhaps in the near future, especially after books like yours are coming out, that we're going to start hearing more from these members of the 9-11 Commission about what really went on? 
Uh, probably we will hear some more here and there, but I, I mean, I think the larger issue is that they don't know that much. I mean, they simply were, uh, were, were largely kept in the dark. And this is a general problem with the so-called checks and balances we have here in this country is that uh, uh, Congress, even the top officials, are largely kept in the dark even when they're supposed to be providing oversight of agencies like the Central Intelligence Agency, the National Security Agency. Only the top few people are uh, privy to certain briefings, and even they say that they've been misled. So these are very dangerous problems uh, for uh, a vibrant democracy, uh, and I think we're going to increasingly turn to uh, outsiders, not these panels, because these panels are, you know, this was appointed by the President of the United States, who himself uh, was clearly not interested in this information getting out. But if you look historically at a lot of the other panels on subjects like Iran, Contra, and what have you, they have almost never gotten uh, to the bottom of these deeper questions of how power works and how decisions are made. All right, Russ Baker joining us from our New York studio. His new book, Family of Secrets, about the Bush dynasty and what he calls a lot of secrets.